Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. While the desired outcome is the same for the Levels command as the Autofix Levels command, this manual operation gives you precise control over the results. With Levels, you can adjust up to 256 different tones that give you a much more natural finished look than the Brightness Contrast command alone. To use Levels, select Enhance from the menu bar then go down to Adjust Lighting, then roll over to Levels, and give it a click. We'll move this dialog box out of the way so that we can see our image. Now in the dialog box, this is where you make your selections. The histogram shown here in the middle shows how the pixels in the image are distributed at each of the 256 different brightness levels with shadows on the left, midtones in the middle, and highlights on the right. While you can use the channel drop-down to select any of the available color channels, you generally want to make your changes in the RGB channel. That drop-down is located right there. Now there are three eyedroppers under the buttons in the dialog box, right over here and you click on each of the eyedroppers and then select the pixels in the image that best represent those three options. So the first one, and again if you roll your mouse pointer over, it'll tell you what they are. We have set black point, set gray point, and set white point. For gray, try to find a point in the image with equal parts red, green, and blue. So we can give that a click and we'll go in here and give that a click. Now, if you need help identifying the parts of the image that are the most black, white, and gray, elements can help. You can select Window and Info, which will launch the Info palette. So we can go to Window, and then we can go down to Info. And then we'll move this out of the way and you'll see down here in the info panel or palette that we have the R, the G, and the B color levels there. So when you pass your cursor over the image, we'll move this out of the way so we can see that, you'll see those levels change. So since black is the total absence of color, the RGB levels should be at their lowest levels when you find the blackest part of the image. We'll go up here and you'll see those levels drop down very low when we're in the darkest, blackest part of the image. Now the opposite is true for white. So if we choose a very white area in the image, you'll see the levels jump up. Now, you can also use the output sliders to adjust the levels or for even more precise manual control. So we can, if we want, use the output sliders here for more control. So it really gives you very precise control when you're using the levels command. After you've made all of your adjustments, of course, then you would just click OK. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.